very excited. We'll check out Main Assembly, a game where you can develop and design your own robots, including, I've been told, BattleBots. Keep in mind, there's no right or wrong when programming your robot. If it works, it works. Send me. Send me. What am I? Get comfy without arms and legs. I can't remember anything. Can't get this up there. Who's on girl? Sorry, I sing that to the baby all the time. Oh, my diaper's wet. They are wet. Need a clean diaper. Oh, my. Sorry. WSDA. The smaller drone doors, drone doors, doors of course. Due to some technical issues, the drone door leading onto the simulation area didn't unlock. I have printed a drivable robot using one of our fancy nano printing stations, but due to a calibration error, the robot is upside down. It looks right no to me. Good job. Now, if you dock to that robot, you can drive it. Oh, if you dock to that robot, you can drive it. Dude, this game's already got some aesthetic goals. Mission accomplished. Keep going. Oopsie. Looks like the normal door is locked here. Confusing. Undock from your robot. I've played video games before. I pretty much got it figured out. Welcome. Commencing basic training program. Transferring data to simulation. Three star Please. performance. Oh, baby. Although I didn't pop the balloon. Two star performance. Fun with parts. So far, so good. This is your very first simulation session. Your purpose in this Yo, uh, is to uh, here I am doing everything I can. Holding on to what I. Parts, Should probably be listening. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Do, 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 do. Can you repeat that, please? Press B to enter assembly mode. Honestly, more complicated than anything I could make in this game, I think. All the parts available to you are stored in a catalog that you can access at any time while you are in assembly mode. Okay. To your left you see a list of categories. The docking station can be found under the drop-down menu called Pool. Look at that. Now place it somewhere on your body. I played Minecraft. It's a, it's just a, a simple search bar. Right. Since this robot has four drive motors placed already, all the programming has been done for you under the hood. Thank you. So we don't have to worry about that right now. Let's print this bad boy. Okay, print it out. Okay. Using the return key. Let you drive around for a bit. When you feel ready, proceed to the parking area and I will go ahead and break your performance. I thought that was going to be a bomb. I honestly assumed that these would be, uh, like mines. Leave me alone. Look at that. Poke all the dummies under no circumstances. Delete a part, poke all the dummies, collect the diploma. All right. Tutorial is very slow, but I think that's what we need in a game like this, because we're going to be asking a lot of questions anyway. Go ahead and enter the assembly mode again. I have a new robot. Oh, it's a drone. But this one is missing something else. Or no, it's See, not. It's just missing tires. Okay. Sure. We're going to need some wheels, please. Small wheels. Off-road small. Racing small. I mean, let's be real. These look like they, they should be racing wheels. Um, we'll put them here. And here. Wow. Look at you. All smart. Good job. If you, by Thank any you. reason, don't like the wheel that you placed, you can always delete it and select a new one from the catalog. Press and delete to delete. Oh, works. that's my Discord mute key, though. <laughs> Hold on. Give me one of these back. That's going to be a problem. Print it. Yahoo. Yes. Yahoo. Just as we did before. Drive around and have fun. 
Fun is being had. Emptiness. Chassis and body. Connect the wires. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I think we might be done with the tutorial already. I think we, we might be ready to send it. First day. Down the hill. Half of the fun is not knowing what you're doing. Welcome to the Olive Simulated Challenge Course. Let's start Jeopardy. Okay. The Olive Institute building is at the bottom of this scenic hill. Create a robot that can drive down to the parking area. Just a dang old bicycle. objectives. These will unlock additional simulation capabilities. Understandable. Off-road is good off-road. Racing is good on asphalt. Normal is decent on everything. Understood. Okay. Drive through all checkpoints. Poke all the dummies. I like how he said it's best to have a slow tutorial and then he skipped everything. Um, you know, it, it's a pretty standard example of like... Um, do as I say, not as I do, I think. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'm going to build a, uh, a car chassis, okay? Print it. Pomp it. Okay, so there we go. We go. This is almost a car. We're almost there. I would like to, if you don't mind, we're going to add a little bit more chassis to this chassis. I'm going to just delete that real quick. I, I clicked it too many times. I apologize. Okay. Probably should have done the tutorial. What do you know? It's because you printed it already. All right, I have decided we should go back and do the tutorial. At least to learn how to make a, a chassis. Poke all the dummies, show a dummy the depths, avoid all checkpoints. I've decided to go back. I am extremely impressed with your performance. Don't be. You spherical marvel. Your recent results were beyond my expectations. Not really. That is not a statement I make lightly. For this last one, I will let you do it all from... I just wish they would tutorialize with no sauce, you know what I mean? I'd like a sauceless... A sauceless tutorial where they don't try to give me this GLaDOS stuff. And they just go, hey, just press B and then enter and then drive. That's that's around my, my level. The heck is this, man? Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, you think I don't know where to find the catalog? I mean... That's a little How are we doing? not Take so well so far. Okay. Make sure that you have added motors. Yes, presumably we're going to need a motor at some point. Those parts. Now, if you have you need a docking station, drive motor and wheels, of course. In most circumstances, your motor will go on the top of the car. Hold on, I'm just I'm just watching the the little the little gif. At, oh, you put the oh, it needs four motors. Why didn't you say so? I didn't realize this was an Elon mobile. Okay. And then wheels. That's an easy one. Wheels have never been a problem. Wheels have never been a problem. Finally, you need a docking station. If you'll excuse me, we're just going to go over here. We're going to type in docking. And we are well on our way to making the world's greatest battle bot. That Look at this. Print it. Print it. Absolutely glorious. Now you are a master of parts. Makes me very happy. Makes me very happy, too. You know where to go. I have some very, very exciting stuff. So easy. No, don't reprint. Undock. Next. Okay. Once we finish... Nah, we should just do it all. I should just learn to have patience for like the first time in my life. Okay. 
<laughs> It'll help us out. Taking 30 minutes to do the tutorial will, will make the next part that much smoother. That's called character arc. Yeah, it's, it's character development. Oh. Oh, is that the treehouse pool? Sometimes slow is fast, man. That's what I gotta learn. I guess this is growing up. That being said, I have not listened to the tutorial at all. Okay, you got plates, you got frames, and you got joints. You know, I heard a great quote yesterday. Um, and I, I think it's a great quote about impatience, okay? It, it really spoke to me. It said, some things take time. You can't make a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. It's a funny quote, but it's also true. Some things, they just take as long as they take. Anyway. Multi-threaded. Multi-threaded gestation. I was not listening to what she said at all. I would like to move this. I, I feel like it's going to print it uh, in, inside of the wall. Look at this. Look at that. Mm, can't fit. It's too big. Door stuck. We need to edit the chassis to get through the door. Select the blue plate. Why, oh why, didn't I take the blue plate? <laughs> you can move the selected plate by grabbing it in the direction. Hey! Mistakes no. happen, and that's okay. You can always undo them. Try it. Control Z. Okay. Mistake, that's okay. You can always redo them. Control R. Control Y. When you feel ready, bench a robot and see if you can get it through that door. I feel like that's still too small. One moment, please. That's what we're talking about right there. Oh, look at this bad boy. Da -da 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 -da. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. It even handles better too. Well, that's driver error. Don't don't blame that one on Elon. Look at that. Through the door. When pouring a foaming drink, do you try to get close to the rim or do you play it safe? Um, I I get close to the rim. For sure, I go close to the rim. Um, usually, like let's say you're pouring a foamy beer. You usually pour it like, I don't know, three quarters or something like that. And then you let the foam settle for maybe 10 seconds, maybe less. And then you just pour the rest in. And I would say 99 times out of 100, you're going to be totally fine. Oh, you got, of course, you got to tilt the glass too. You got to tilt the glass. I mean, if you're not tilting the glass, like you don't, you're not on pouring duty in my household. As I mentioned earlier, as per my earlier email, frames and joints. By modifying frames and joints, you'll be able to make finer adjustments. Frames and joints. What is this? A legal marijuana shop that also sells glasses? Here is a very simple robot that I've prepared for you. Imagine. I hope you recall how to move a plate. Done. Frames and joints. Is done the same way. Okay, what do you want from me? Try moving the yellow frame on the chassis and see what happens. All right. Cool. Joints can be merged together. Just move one of them on top of the other. This is really easy to do. Exciting stuff. Amazing. Now print your robot. <laughs> Johnny you Bravo car. <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. It looks pretty sick. See ya. Look at that. Because I made it so tall, it could grab the diploma and everything. Yo, Malf would love this game. No doubt about that. New perspectives. Learn the extruder. 
So, moving stuff around sure is fun, but to make art, proper art, you need to step up your game. Oh, art and engineering. My two strongest skills. Usually people are one or the other. And I'm just like, no thank you. Done. Well, yeah, could you put it over here? Hold control while dragging a plate to extrude it. Look at those shiny new plates that you have created. Using the extrude feature will allow you to build more complex and detailed chassis designs. Okay. I'm definitely glad I did the tutorial. If you want to, when you feel done, print, park, proceed. We call this the Redis mobile. It's a little back heavy. This is the GMC Norman. It's won Motor Trends truck, in, truck of the Year for the last 17 years running. Get creative. Build a fancy new chassis from scratch. Dude, if you thought the engineering was bad, wait until we get to the programming part. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. But also on frames and joints. The method is the same, Screen? although the results you get will be different. Screen? What kind of component you're extruding. Yo, this is what my real monitor looks Final like, dude. Assignment. It's time for you to get your hands dirty. Figuratively speaking, think outside the box and make your very own design. Okay, very own design. So simple. To finish. Now, go. Here's what we're going to do. Use the move and extrude, extrude? features you've learned earlier and build something cool. Oh, what have I done? Ceremony. It's hollow now. Control Z. Space. So, when you feel ready, head over there to present your piece of art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Pretty much perfect. Dude, I'm making I'm making a bike. You you give me whatever I can, you know, say, "Hey, make the world." Guess what? You're getting a bike. One wheel on this side. Do you like inspirational quotes? My favorite one is, the world is but a canvas to the imagination. Oh, it's like force symmetry, like Kerbal Space Program. Hold on, hold on, I got an idea. I actually do not have an idea at all. Make it work. I'm just going to make a long car. <laughs> Perhaps I will just make a long car instead. W what if you just did this? Hold on. Remember, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Bob Ross. That is so beautiful. You are a true artist. It, okay, I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't steer too well. But my right brain half needs a break. Thankfully, the next section is all about the left one. Just relax, okay? I don't, th I don't think I, I'm a left brain or a right brain sort of person. I think I'm like a, I don't want to say a no brain, but is there like a middle brain? I think I'm kind of like a middle brain sort of guy. Wow, very creative. I made a line with four wheels on it. Yeah, I'm more of like a corpus callosum sort of guy. Creativity is on full display. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Program your robot. Welcome back. Now we will dive a bit deeper into what you can do with your robots. Let's look at well, here I am. that you can do within your document. Doing station. everything I there am. Hold on now, to what I am. You through the very basics. So, first off. As per usual, enter assembly mode. Pretend that and I'm a super yam. That I have built for you. Print your bot. Done. Try to drive it. Try to drive it. Doesn't, doesn't drive. Doesn't, doesn't drive. drive. Somebody forgot their public static so void main. Open parentheses string array args. Whenever you have a robot with a docking station on it, you can access. 
access its programming interface. The brain Java gang. Enter programming mode by pressing P. Give me a minute and let me explain what all right, all right. Here. here you can see your workspace and your list of nodes. Oh, it's just it's visual programming. Where you place your programming nodes, and the list on the left contains categories. They made this in Construct Three. Kind of programming nodes that you can use. Right now, all the nodes that this robot needs to drive are already placed in your workspace. Okay. But all the logic is not hooked up. You can see the wire connecting. Wire ah, okay. So steering is hooked up, but power is not hooked up. I understand. The other input node is not wired to the power of the motor. Ah, programming, dude, that could have saved me thousands of dollars right there. And give it power. Back out from programming, and then print your block to Look at that. Wow. Look at Robot, like man. So inspirational. Drive to the parking spot again, and I will give you another example. Turns out I'm getting paid way too much. You can just draw the lines, man. It's not hard. All right. Bring up your assembly mode again. Print and try out. Wait till they hit him with Fizzbuzz. All I have you know, you're not gonna Fizzbuzz. You're not gonna get one over on me. I'm a big fan of the Medulo uh, operator. There's nothing wrong with my Medulo oblongata. Linked lists. I'm a little bit confused for sure. Sure okay, it's very simple. We undock. Yes, yes. Oh, there goes my car, by the way. The programming. Here's the thing. It's not steering. You got to go inputs, outputs. You got to put input, okay? Input, unbound. You're going to hit A and D. Just, lady, I'm trying to get this done, okay? Yes, D is steer, but also A is steer. On the left. Bro. Ah, uh, it's a pl I thought this was remove and this was add, but it's a it's a positive and a minus. Okay. Done. Done. Are we forward or backwards? We are backwards. Okay, so we're gonna exit, we're gonna enter programming mode very quickly. There are some properties. Bravo. Sweet. Looks they, look, see? That like just the time, okay? The time is up. So easy. I guess we could have just steered backwards. Inverted. You, people invert their vertical all the time. Very few people like to drive with inverted uh, horizontals, though. I'm so glad we did the tutorial, dude. We would have been so lost. <laughs> Hacker mode on. Repetition time. Yay. Same uh, Poggy, it's Rocket League. You don't have to test drive this robot. I know it's not working. Okay. Bring up you want me to debug it? it? Ah, I see the problem. It hasn't been programmed at all. Completely ignored to program this thing. Lucky for us that you know how to do this now. Let's see if you can figure this out. I love when they let you figure it out, man. That's what I'm all about. So here's the thing. We're going to call this power. And don't forget to connect them with some I'm going to let you do it. By the way, here's how you do it. Um, you feel ready, you just back out to assembly mode again and then print it. And very simple. Spin. Two of these bad boys right here. That's not how... Right, you got to just... One has a plus and a minus. All right, my mistake. W is forward. S is backwards. I will say... How do we know what this does? I wrote power, but I didn't have to put any logic into it. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe you just have to name them properly? They wouldn't do it like that, would they? Okay, it don't be driving. It don't be driving. This node can then be used from other CPUs or receivers to receive any data. They showed you in the top right. You know? They, I bet they did. Wait, hold on, hold on. Drive motor small, power. Oh, you don't make your own output. That's my problem. I was too advanced. 
We want to drive with both motors, though. And then, wire it up, baby. Mission accomplished. All-wheel drive. I'm, I'm an all-wheel drive sort of guy, because I do a lot of off-road driving. There you go. Okay, we got power. We got power. Next step. You, you debug it a little bit at a time, chat. It's called test-driven development. Um, you're also going to need an input for steering. This input is going to be on A and D. And then we're going to have it do... Uh, we're going to have it affect some parts. It's going to steer. One is fully right. Negative one is fully left. Okay, good to know. Excuse Oh, I already got it. Sorry, my mistake. That's my mistake. Do I have this backwards? One is fully right. I, I do have it backwards. This will be D. This will be A. Okay. Send me. Oh, dude. I forgot. You're not supposed to do all-wheel steering. This is how I get myself <laughs> into a lot of problems. <laughs> I forgot. You're supposed to have a couple of wheels static. Mm. Just chill, okay? I don't know if this is rear wheel, rear wheel drive or front wheel drive, but... There we go. We've done it. Skeep! Dude, it handles like a dream. She's built like a steakhouse, but she handles like a bistro. Done. I think we're We only got one more. Explore. Just in time. I have a little fun with 27 minutes left in the show. Now to make a car for every single uh, mission that they give us. When you're a car, everything looks like a road, man. Then go into the bot tab. Okay, sure. New name. Model Z. Start new bot button. Oh, that's going to be helpful. Um, for this one, give me a shape U small. Very cool. Hello. Hello. I'd like to put you over here for assembly purposes. All right. Time to make a bicycle. I'm, I mean, I'm literally just going to make a car again. I apologize. But once we get into the challenges, we'll try to make something that's not a car. But every time I play Besiege, I just end up making cars over and over. I, I must apologize. I, I'm not good at engineering from the first place, or in the first place. But I'm, like, extremely bad at, at creativity combined with engineering. So let's let's just get through this so we can get to challenges. This is a loop we're gonna be doing a lot of. I'm gonna enter the programming menu real quick. Oh, it already has the the stuff linked up. Can we do like left shift, drive motor small, uh, current power? Rotation speed. Oh, and this might just give the current power. And if it's over something, then... Okay, I see. Well, you know what? I think I'm ready to just send this son of a gun right here. No, I'm out of here. Okay, fine. I don't like when a tutorial tells you to stop. Most creative bot beast ever. 2021, 2K21. Funny 
monkey and a banana. Banana, na, na, na. Okay. So here in the bot tab, you should now see the bots that you have saved earlier. Confirmed. To load any of them into your current simulation, simply select them and hit the load button. Look at that. Good job. Well, I'm sure this was a walk in the park. I've done my share of tutorials before. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know it, but oh, you're letting me through. Thank you. Hey da. To you as well. Okay, you can't go too fast. You got to give them a chance to open up. Then we got to go inside of the Olive Institute. You do not have to go inside of the Olive Institute. I got insanely lucky. Oh, you go to the parking spot. Dude, how was I supposed to know you're supposed to go to the parking spot? Just because I've gone to the parking spot every other time we do the... They didn't tell me, dude. There's nothing I could do about that at all. Oh, this, this is going to be tough. We should have brought the Model Z for this one. Hello. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's like pumpkin, pumpkin and bean soup. How about that? Good. It smelled great. Look at this. Are you, are you impressed with what your husband's capable of? I built this machine by myself from scratch and then also programmed it. By, by hand from scratch. And I've just completed my objective. Oh, is that the blip? Blip. Beep, beep, blip. Blip. Whatever the game that we played co-op. Biped. Yeah. She's talking about biped. Kind of looks like biped. I wouldn't disagree with that. You know you're in for a rough time when it says you did a great job, you should be proud of yourself when you beat the tutorial. Bot Brawl. This is what I'm I'm here for. Brawl Arena. Brawl it out with your friends. Determine who is the champion. This is the build phase of Bot Brawl. Um, you know what? Let's just send that one in, man. <laughs> so I'm sure like one of these is build and one of these is fight. Two players are needed in start trigger to start next round. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, take me back to the main menu then. That's all right. We'll just download the best bi battle bot and then we can join a server and <laughs> wreck people. <laughs> hmm. Th that battle bot from battle bots that looked kind of unimpressive but just flipped people over that's the good stuff man yeah like i uh, it always bummed me out that on battle bots like they'd make like a robot that has like a gun and a flamethrower and stuff and you'd be like oh i'm cheering for sir kill a lot and then some little Robot with a wedge called like Cheddar would just come in and like get under it and flip it over and you're like what the heck The wedges are like too strong Or the ones that are like so thin they're like a plate and they would just get under the robot and then like have a little flipper on it That's like bunk Blue Bozzy Anyway, okay first day down the hill down the hill Welcome to the Olive Simulated Challenge course. Yeah, yeah. Let's start All right. Time to prove I can actually complete this level. I will use my U-shaped car. No, I have not watched any robot combat within the last... Uh, within the last 15 years. You got me on that one. I used to watch at the height of its earliest popularity, maybe like late 90s, early 2000s. Seen a little battle bots, seen a little robot wars. Easiest mission of my life. Ramping up. 
you will have to drive up a ramp. Do you know Hypnodisc? Isn't that the one it spun around really fast? And it also had like a little lifter on it? The helipad is your goal, but there are many steps to reach it. That sounds right. I think I know Razor as well. Razor had like a diamond tipped axe or something like that. Look, I'm just going to be honest. Until the game doesn't let me win with my crap car, we're driving the crap car the whole time. One hundred percent crap car. Funny monkey is not crap. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Look at the monkey. You aren't doing all the objectives? It's true. But that's that has nothing to do with the engineering. That's just how I, I play uh, video games all the time and every day. GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 2. Learned all about them since when they were new. Just want to play video games all of the time and every day. You think I got to shatter this glass, man? Nope. Definitely not. We can make this. We can make this. Just take it slow. Come around this way, perchance. You know what? That seems bad. We're gonna poke the dummy. You weren't going fast enough? I disbelieve you. There, one dummy has been poked. Oh, son of a... We, he lived! Funny monkey. The strongest robot ever made. Dude, it's basically... Like, the battle bots that look the least impressive always ended up being the strongest. So I think we're well on our way here. This robot doesn't look that impressive, but un that's when we say, Oh, we got a freaking adamantium-tipped, you know, poleaxe. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh my god, they got like a halberd on the edge of their robot? What are we supposed to do about that? Ladies and gentlemen, optional objective achieved. Too easy. Jump around. No, I don't think I will. This is Tornado, the most boring robot in Robot Wars history. It's a great name, though. It is a great name. Okay, every checkpoint to unlock the parking bay. Don't mind if I do. I'm thinking for this one, we're going to need Tornado. This is a, a Tornado original right here. Mm, probably don't go down that way. This is an all Tornado stream now. Look at how fast it is. <sighs> Handling could use a little work. It's a little like, like Bowser in Mario Kart. Top speed and acceleration. I guess Bowser's acceleration is kind of stinky, right? I don't know what we're. I don't know what these are, but we got them. It's quick, man. It's it's got it's zero to sixty is like world record timing. Isn't there a check? Yeah, there's a checkpoint right here. Hey, Tomo. That's a very hearty meow, Tomo. Excuse me, I'll, I'll allow him to leave the room. You don't have to stay in the room. You don't have to stay in the room. You don't, you don't belong to the room, Tomo. The room belongs to you. Oh, son of a... Tornado's not so good in reverse. Turn, turn. Oh, oh. Almost lost it on the... On the sand to ice transition. Tornadoes through the upper. I mean, so far, this is basically just uh, Roblox track mania. It's the way I see it. Help. Oh, 
I, I, I think I screwed up by picking the most powerful. Uh oh, we're missing one. Or more than one. I think I picked, uh, I just picked the strongest robot frame by default. Where is Tom? I let, I let Tomo leave the room, because again, you, you know, the world's his oyster. If he wants to go somewhere, then, then go somewhere. I would like to flip you. Flip. Flip device. Reprint. Oh, you... Did I just miss this one? Alright, you know, we're, we're running into some trouble. Leaving the corpses just littered. Beautiful! Oh, there you go. Dude, the, the fact that you can just flip the the chassis over? I don't know if we'll ever lose. That's got to be the end, then. Unless we had to restart when we failed. Yeah, it's a lot... It's it's like scrap mechanic. I, I hesitate to say it's more polished. But that's kind of the words that are coming to mind right now. There is still another... No, there is another. I mean, scrap mechanic is cool as well. What have I done? Just take a look. I got nothing against scrap mechanic, except for every time we tried to uh, play it, Josh couldn't resist just downloading like a tank and then shooting us all while we tried to build crappy cars. Okay. Shout if you see it. Might be behind the, the Matterhorn. That sounds great. There there was there was some great parts of it and some not so great parts of it. <laughs> Cause it did uh it did crash the server on occasion, but that's okay. It's in front of the Matterhorn. You would just be like building a crappy little four-wheel, you know, box of garbage, and then you'd get strafed with like a oh, okay, right there. You get strafed with like a helicopter. Like an A10 warthog or something like that. Squee. Well, I told you I'm not much of an engineer, you know. I'm I'm really more of like a, a family feud sort of individual. I did go 4-1 and one in the Family Feud, and honestly, I felt like the, the, the one I lost in the Family Feud was kind of a rip-off to begin with. Incredible. Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen. He's so good. Hello, Cory. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to the, uh, the parking area. You might like this game, Cory. It's a little bit like Escape from Tarkov. Um, you gather loot, like in this game is called parts, and then you use those parts, which you could consider to be things like guns and soup bowl helmets and stuff like that. You use those parts to make something that can accomplish a task. Oh no, I gotta reprint. Um, and when you accomplish that task, you get dopamine, much like you would in Escape from Tarkov. Doesn't that sound nice? Whose fun do you take away in this game? When I yell at chat, I take away their fun. When chat yells at me, I, they take away my fun. Poke the dummies. Uh, <laughs> something, 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 uh, something, Twitch chat? It's the top world out there. You may need to use Dodgeball. materials to prevent damage to your core. Armor yourself against the slings and arrows and basketballs of our greatest fortune. Yo, we love the nets. Let's go, baby. Love the nets. What is our objective? Drive through all checkpoints and, if possible, score with the football. Okay. This is get out of here. We, we don't want to see you. Please give me a new bot. 
I would like um, a bot that is... Oh, look at this. Walker? Yo, you could make like uh, Boston Dynamics. Flipper? Stereo? Oh, that's right. Yeah, start new bot. Thank you. And I want to start with a U-shape large. Because this time, I want to make a spot that's large enough for the ball to fit in. But I think we also need like a... Well, we might not need armor plates, but... We should be able to grab it. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Just, just let me think about this for a second, man. Can the ball fit through there? Even if it can't. You could do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Squeep. You could bust this part wide open and say, see you later. Can't help but feel like I probably could have done that more efficiently, but that's fine. Okay, it's also hollow here, but I'm going to... We're going to live with that, okay? Then, we're going to extrude... This back wall out the front. No, that's bad. It's not a you're gonna you know what that's good enough. Okay, then not like that though. Not not control Z that control Z that believe this should be good enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, this must be rotated. This must be rotated. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just drive it backwards. <laughs> On the radial menu. Doesn't appear to be a rotate on this. You know what? Okay, it's like this then. Let's just do it like this. Let's just build it that way. And then definitely extrude this like inside more. Bro, what is happening? I've decided we're going to start from zero again. Because I think we've broken like the laws of the universe with this. Like we've at, we've turned the material inside out somehow, so we're gonna we're gonna go back into the menu, and we're gonna hit tab and we're gonna hit start new bot, and you know what? We're just gonna start with the cylinder this time. Trust myself with the cylinder a little bit more. Okay, just this just this little cylinder right here, dude. What if we could get onto the soccer ball, and BB-8 on the top of it? You ever think about that? What if we could like walk over to the soccer ball? Balance on top of it and then use it as BB-8. Now I'm going to tell you we're not going to do that because I do not know how to do that whatsoever. Oh, this looks like this looks more like a soccer ball type situation, man. Look at this. Okay. And then we're going to extrude with just a little. And then we're going to extrude. But I wanted to do it in the other way. So we're going to control Z. I'm going to grab this son of a gun right here. This is what I'm looking for, except, except, this part right here. You got to go in. Look, I'm not trying to be a weird guy about it. You just got to... Yeah, 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 yeah. And we call this the soccer ball holder. This is the soccer ball holder. It's beautiful. A little spaceship. Just like a little spaceship. Look at this, man. Okay. Little X-Wing. Nothing wrong with a little X-Wing, right? Take, put me back in assembly mode. 
Now, we need some wheels. That's that's a given. Because we did uh, did this from scratch, uh, almost. We might need to actually program the wheels ourselves, but that's fine too. Give me a little tab. Give me some motors. Yo, what a basic motor that can be used for anything. What's the difference between a motor and a drive motor? Built-in suspension and steering. Like a motor, and I know this is like a question that an eight-year-old would, would answer, or would ask, I should say, but then answer if they're smart. Motors are just things that spin, right? The answer to that question is yes. Okay, thank you. Pretty sure you answered your own question. Yeah, but I had no confidence in it. Now I have confidence in it. Now I can go into other people's chats and be like, this guy doesn't know what a motor is. Probably opens a potato chip bag with scissors too. Okay, and then I had one more thing that I thought would be cool. You know what I thought would be cool? What if we put a motor in that could put like a little claw on the ball? So we could like grip it. Oh, dude. I don't know if that's going to be necessary. I don't know if that's going to be necessary. That's called using terrain. We've used our terrain to our advantage. Safe. This is like an episode of American Gladiators here, man. Just get it off the wall. Easy. This should be easy to get it off the wall. Dude, we're, also the bot is like so thin, it, it can barely be hit. Okay, it's... This is where it'd be nice to have that, that extra little bit of leverage I was talking about. No problem, no problem. Little, there you go. Dude, he's actually done it, okay. Into the Stamford Bridge. I, I had a little too much sauce on that, but it's because we were trying to dodge. McKinnon's Alley. Taking it into McKinnon's Alley. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. That hurt. That hurt. I know we're missing a checkpoint. This one just seems easier for now. And we could... We could oh, you know what? We can just go through... No. No. This is a mess, man. Why did I make the frame so paper thin? My wheel came off! Not to mention my other wheel's not looking so good. Alright, I think, I think this is probably a retry. Take me back. Okay, print print again. I think we can just do this, okay? The soccer ball's already over there. Okay, sorry, the football, the football. Okay, here's what you do. Squeeb. Squeeb. One of the greatest gamers of our time. Probably gonna reprint that one. Gonna do a quick reprint. Like they won't do to the Power Nine in Magic the Gathering. And my problem, I was going a little too fast. When you go too fast, that's where things can go wrong. Okay, we're gonna try again. Now I'm starting to think this thing might be a little bit too wide. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm starting to think that I've, you know, tempted fate. And I tried to play God. And if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. What if we just went like that? And then we said, you know what? That's too annoying to deal with. We're just going to completely ignore these heavy bags. And then we're going to go grab... The soccer ball, the football, and we're gonna we're gonna pot one in for Leeds United, ladies and gentlemen. That's our second star, and we're safe. <laughs> 
Tevez with his bulldog-like approach. Look at that. Dude, main assembly seems pretty fun. This is a game I might revisit with the right crew. For sure. I definitely feel like uh, like Mouth and Sips would be uh, would be into this. And, and probably be better at me so I could just zoom in and out over and over. 